Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and the lighting is a little crazy, but I have a really small thrift store and friend mail video for you guys. And I want to say thank you. Thank you so much to each and every one of you that is currently watching this video because not all content is created equal. And I do know that. I know that when I post a video, the videos that do the best on my channel are obviously Dollar Tree related videos. But I'm in Connecticut. I'm visiting with my aunt. I'm in her living room right now. And I had some mail in my car and a small thrift store haul that I picked up in Connecticut and an interesting story that I felt like sharing with you guys. So I got it all here with me. I actually took this with me because I've got this cool thrift store haul and a really interesting story to share with you. It was just, sometimes things are fate. And those of you who are here, who knows what our fate is, but I'm glad that you're spending a little time with me. I really appreciate you guys. Obviously, every video I put out, I'm hoping will do well. And I know that videos like this don't always do exceptionally well. So I just want to say thank you for supporting this community and everything that I do. Now, the other day when I went to visit my aunt in the previous hospital she was in, I noticed a little thrift store. And of course, thrift stores don't take credit cards. And I hardly ever have cash on me, you guys. I always just have my debit card, honestly, in my bra. So I don't lose it because I do, I did recently have my wallet taken from me, if you guys remember that situation. So I walked into this thrift store. I didn't have a bunch of cash on me. And I was like, hmm, this is a really amazing thrift store. I ended up falling in love with so many things and I was like counting all the money that I had in my bag and it turned out, I think I had like less than $10 altogether, including like change in my bag. And I was like determined not to go to the cash machine because I was running late. And for those of you who know, you know, the struggle is real. I'm always running late. People know that I'm running late, but I was meeting up with my cousin and my cousin is a stickler for punctuality. So I was like, I'll be damned if I'm going to be late. So I wasn't going to the cash machine and I kept picking things out and leaving them behind. There was like this beautiful brand new Pier 1, never been used and Pier 1 went out of business pillow that was down stuffed. And it had, it was like embroidered. Oh my God, it was so nice. It was only five bucks. I left it behind because I'm like, I don't need this. I have a lot of pillows. But now here's when you know that you're on a path and you don't even know it. Um, or at least I believe. And for those of you who have been watching my channel, you know that I've been going through a lot lately. I was looking on Home Shopping Network because at my aunt's house, I don't know how to run the cable or I don't have cable. I use like internet and I watch YouTube and I watch things like that. But I didn't know how to like get off of the home shopping network. <laughs> so I was watching infomercials all night on home shopping network and they had that amazing, it's like actually kind of cool. You plug it in and it boils eggs for you. And I was like, you know what? I want that in my life. And I was thinking, well, I Googled it actually and I found out that they sell it at Walmart. I was like, I'm going to go to Walmart later and I'm going to get it. And then I'm like, wow, it's like 20 bucks. I don't know if I really want to get it. But it was, it wasn't, it was like $16.99 at H Home Shopping Network, right? So it's like crazy sometimes the things that life brings you. So I go to this thrift store and as I'm picking and choosing and putting things back and telling myself, just go to the cash machine, just Oh, and the other thing was, it was a really little parking lot that I swear, once I left it, I was never going to want to go back in it because I knew that I was going to be like, fucklemped. You guys know what I'm talking about. It was like, I don't even know how I ended up finding this place. It's so crazy and random. So, um, I saw this, you guys, never been used and it's called Egg Pod Cook Perfect Eggs. And uh, you know what? The one at Walmart, the one that plugs in. I don't think it was the exact one that they were selling at HSN. I think it was like the Walmart version. I don't know. I've never seen them in real life. I've only seen this in real life. And this was $19.99 at Walmart, but I got it 
for $5. Look, it was even priced right there, $5. It has never been used, you guys. It was sealed. Cooks and peel, cooks and peels, cook and peel eggs in minutes. No. We're going to we're going to take a look at this. I feel like it's my Easter gift. It's it's my Easter gift to myself because I've been eating a lot of eggs. I need to eat a lot of I've been eating a lot of eggs to stay on this new See this? It's completely wrapped in everything. I'm so excited. For those of you who don't know or are just maybe by accident landed here, I am obsessed with things that say as seen on TV. I should be the as seen on TV tester on YouTube. You know what? That would be a great job for me because I just love as seen on TV stuff. And some of it is amazing. Honestly, over the years, there have been a lot of things that have been as seen on TV that turned out to be great. Like who's ever going to forget, set it and forget it, that guy or the new wave oven. Oh my gosh. I loved that thing. If I had space in my current kitchen, I would still use that. It was so good. Well, how many eggs can I hard boil at a time? This thing is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I do this and then it comes out. It's actually adorable. <laughs> I don't even know. doesn't even matter if I'm going to ever cook eggs in it. It's so cute. Oh, I do look haggard. I realize it that it's this could go in my microwave. That's metal. Okay, so you can hard boil four eggs at a time. And it's got this little cup. It's very intriguing. Isn't this exciting? But the fact that I just, I mean, you know what? Honestly, the microwave one is probably better for me. Even though cooking things in the microwave is not the greatest thing. It's just more convenient for me because I don't have a lot of counter space. So, yeah. It says, do not cook for more than 11 minutes. If cooking time exceeds 11 minutes, damage to the unit may occur. 11 minutes? I feel like I could cook. Can't I make hard-boiled eggs in a, in a regular boiling pot of water in 11 minutes? That seems like a long time. Why would... How, does anybody own this? Well, I do have instructions and I'm going to read them. And maybe I'll even make some eggs with you guys before this video airs. But how crazy is it that I was just watching it, got up in the morning, took my shower, went to go see my aunt, was rushing, stumbled onto this place, and I get this thing that makes eggs. I mean, it was a thrift shop full of things, but this was new in the box just sitting there for me. And four perfect hard-boiled eggs. Amazing. Honestly, that's really convenient. I, what are the chances? It was meant for me. And okay, so it has like exact measurements. That's what that little cup was for that's in there. It seems very easy, but there's a lot of instructions. So you put the eggs in there. You lock it up. Nine minutes. I'm going to watch an infomercial on it because they're going to make it seem easier. It has a lot of things not to do, like don't exceed 11 minutes um, or fill this with ice water. Don't do, like it says a lot of things that I shouldn't do and I'm scared to know why, but it says that once the nine minutes are over, don't touch it. Let it cool for two minutes because you will basically burn your hands, which makes a lot of sense because there's boiling hot water in there. So um, I'm definitely going to try that. I'm really psyched because that seems something that's kind of convenient. Then, like I said, there were so many things to choose from at this thrift store, but I didn't have a lot. If I had a lot of cash on me, I would have gone for broke. They had a whole bag, a big clear recycling bag full of scarves, but they weren't priced yet. And I didn't feel like asking them for the prices of everything. And as I was leaving, the lady had just priced this one because it wasn't the type of thrift store where everything is the same price. Um, it just wasn't like that. They were very, some things were very expensive actually in the thrift store, but this scarf is silk. It's really beautiful, really gorgeous color. You guys know that I love this color and it is by 
J Crew. Um, I used to work for J Crew, so I know that their scarves are not cheap, not even from J Crew Factory. It was only priced at $2, which made me really happy. The lady just had priced it, and I guess maybe they didn't realize that it was silk. I don't know, because most of their scarves were more money. But I was like, oh, I'll take that. I love it, because I could use this if I'm wearing like a really good warm sweater. I could use this even now. But more than likely, I have a very pretty um, kind of strappy summer sweater that I got from, I believe, Shein. And it matches the colors on this scarf perfectly. And the lady who donated these scarves obviously hardly ever wore them because she gave away like a 100 scarves. And when I give away scarves, that's kind of how I give them away too because I have a lot of scarves. But... There was one other scarf that I had in my hand, and it was a really boho print, but I put it down when I saw this because I had to have it, and I didn't have enough for both of them. And it was $2 for the scarf or $2 for these little birds. Are they not the cutest things you've ever seen? And I feel like these birds right here, they're gossiping, like they're up to something. These two are like and then this one is like, I don't know nothing. I'm not involved in this. Or he's like the lookout. I don't know. They're, they're so cute. I just love these Easter cuties. And I love this color. I just think they're super cute. And it looks like a lot of people thought they were going to love these birds. And then they gave them up because they've made their rounds from Goodwill to this church thrift store. And they look like they're old. Maybe they're not that old. Maybe they're made for like aquariums or something because they're kind of that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's no markings or anything on it. I know they're not valuable, but I just think that they're cute. And I actually kind of want to put them outside because they're that ceramic that you can put outside and it doesn't really, nothing happens to it. So I love those. And that's what I swapped the scarf for. And that's the reason why I... I'm combining the friend mail with this mini little um, thrift haul. Maybe I wouldn't have even shared the thrift haul. Maybe I would have just showed you guys the egg thing in a cooking video or in a haul, a Dollar Tree haul. But um, there's a whole reason why I'm sharing it. And then I saw this really pretty, beautiful, beautiful vase that I had to get my friend. This is so gorgeous. Is this not beautiful? I mean, it's beautiful, guys. And it does have markings. It says D-E-W on the bottom. It's hand decorated. So pretty. It was only $2, but we're going to peel the sticker off and find out what this is together. I have no clue, but it's so gorgeous. I just love it. It says, do Takashi... San Francisco hand hand decorated it is just so so pretty I love it the minute that I saw it I knew I had to get it and you could even actually make this into a tear tray centerpiece but I'm pretty sure that the person that I bought this for is going to leave it just as is it's super duper pretty I really love it so I had to get that, but I didn't get the scarf. So lo and behold, I get home and I have this package at my doorstep and it's from the lovely Jennifer from Alabama. I think I'm going to put a picture of Jennifer right here. She's beautiful and super amazing. She's an awesome artist too. And if you guys have been watching my shorts, then you've seen the shorts video that I released of her artwork and I'll try to put, put a couple of my favorite pictures here. She's super talented, super generous. She shops the Dollar Tree like every day and buys things to donate to different women's um, causes. And I just, I love people that do things like that. Of course, if, she, if you can, I mean, not everybody can do that, but if they can and they do that, they're just my favorite people. And, um, I didn't go through this whole thing, but when I opened it, the first thing that I pulled out was this. And I just told you guys that 
I had to put back a scarf that was very boho looking. Well, it was, it's not the same scarf. At first I thought it was the exact same scarf, but it's very similar, very, very similar. And you guys know how I love blue. I love prints like this. I just love everything about it. And honestly, they're all like, they all smell so amazing. So Jennifer went through all of her scarves and sent me a huge package of scarves. And this is one of them. And I'm keeping this one because I obviously love it. I mean, like, I love it. Thank you, Jennifer. Then, um, I don't know even if they were for donating or for me, but I have so many scarves myself that I probably will be donating all of them except for, oh, this is so pretty too. I haven't looked at them, Jennifer. Just that top one. This is gorgeous, very boho scarf, super pretty. And they, I don't know what fabric softener she washed them all with, but they smell so amazing. Then there's, oh, what? I think I have this scarf. This is so funny. Oh gosh, Jennifer and I, we are like kindred spirits in certain ways. I think I actually do own this. I'm trying to remember, where did I get this from? Because I, I have this scarf. Great minds think alike, you guys. Isn't that crazy? It's such a cool scarf. And you guys know that I love me some scarves. And this one is all metallic threads and fishnet. And it's just fabulous. I like to wear this in the summer. I know, I think I have that scarf. So, or at least I had it. Sometimes I, I gotta get, what? Oh, this is so, wow. This is gonna be really hard for me to send to Constance <laughs> because I love it. It is so pretty. It's like see-through, like stained glass. Do you guys see that? It's amazing. That is really pretty, like chiffon, but it's, butterflies. It's super gorgeous. Wow. It is absolutely super gorgeous. I love it. Jennifer had stitched it, but I actually just pulled the stitch out because I love when scarves just hang. And that one is going to be really hard to send to Constance because I kind of love it myself. It's so pretty. Oh, she loves butterflies. Oh, look at this. I'm so easily distracted, but wow, this is really warm. I may actually need this this weekend because it is freezing here in Connecticut. I don't know what I was thinking. This is gorgeous, really pretty. And it's like velvety chenille. It's like a thin velvety chenille. It's really nice. What a beautiful scarf. Thank you. These are all so like rich in um, textures and I love texture. <gasps> this one is, this one is like beyond texturized. This is so nice for the summer. See, like I like scarves like this in the summer because I just kind of wear them with tube top dresses so that you can't see all of my flabby arms. This is super pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. This is really nice. But who knows? Maybe by summer, I won't have flabby arms. Well, I'll have deflated flappy arms. I don't know. We'll see, guys. But I love this. Oh, Jennifer, this was so nice of you. I love scarves. They all have like their own little personality. And you never know where they're going to end up. I just love scarves. But the fact that I put one super boho looking scarf down to pick this up for Constance and it's made it all the way. I'm going to wrap it in the tissue paper now. It's made it all the way here twice in the car and I haven't broken it. And so let's keep it that way. But it's like one good turn deserves another. I put down the thing that I wanted for something that I really wanted to get Constance because I was in a hurry and I couldn't go to the cash machine. And then I went to my door and I had like tenfold like you literally sent me 10 times more than the scarf that I put down so isn't it amazing how life does those things guys sometimes things can seem so grim like you're just at the end of your rope or just nothing seems to be working out I'm not saying that I wasn't at the end of my rope at the thrift store but it's kind of like the same thing like 
I didn't have time to go to the cash machine and I really wanted more things, but I didn't really have time. And I was like, it's, it's going to be okay. I don't need them. And I kind of felt like slighted in a way. And then I came home to this box full of goodies that was completely unexpected. And I really want to thank you so much, Jennifer. That was really, really generous of you and just so sweet and thoughtful. I do love scarves. They're like Little happy moment. I don't know. I just had to share the story with you guys. I've had a really nice time with my aunt today. I ate um, some steakum for the first time, I think. I don't think I've ever had steakum, or at least if I had, it hasn't been in this decade. Um, and I did a short video of that where I ate with you guys. But if you haven't seen that, it's over here. Or maybe I haven't released it yet. But we'll see. And um, I just hope you guys enjoyed this short little chill out time with me. And if you did, please give my video a thumbs up and comment down below. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.